Welcome to this week's edition of NCDOT Now. I'm Carly Oleksik. Over the last year, the North Carolina Turnpike Authority has tested enhanced wrong-way vehicle detection technology here on the Triangle Expressway. It's part of our effort to provide the safest driving experience possible. As an all-electronic toll facility, the Triangle Expressway's communications network backbone and other roadside technology allowed the Turnpike Authority to more quickly implement the pilot program. The new systems being tested provide visual alerts to wrong-way drivers, and updates to traffic signals, roadside signage, and lane striping also help discourage wrong-way turns. Every second is critical when a wrong-way vehicle is detected, and with this technology, State Traffic Operations Center staff and State Highway Patrol are notified more quickly of the vehicle's location. Fortunately, no wrong-way vehicle crashes have occurred on the Triangle Expressway. Since the technology was implemented last year, four wrong-way vehicles were detected at test sites. In these situations, the drivers never went onto the main line of the expressway. The Turnpike Authority is planning to implement this technology on the rest of the Triangle Expressway and the Monroe Expressway in the Charlotte area. I think everyone at the Turnpike Authority feels very fortunate uh, to be uh, part of a program like this where we know we're, we are keeping people safe, um, we're, we're making our facilities safer, and that we're, we're building a knowledge base that can be used by others uh, to do the same across the country. A safe and efficient transportation system is the backbone of the state's economy. A recent report released by the Division of Aviation shows the critical role of North Carolina's general aviation airports, contributing more than $52 billion to the state's economy and supporting 307,000 jobs. The 72 publicly owned airports and aviation-related jobs also provide $12.6 billion in personal income and contribute $2.2 billion in state and local tax tax revenues every year. View the full report and breakdowns of each individual airport's contributions at the Division of Aviation's website. Lastly, for this month's Rule of the Road, remember that disposing of litter on public or private property is illegal. Violators could face up to a $200 fine and community service. Let's work together to keep North Carolina safe and beautiful. And that's all for this week's edition of NCDOT Now. As always, you can stay connected with us on Facebook and Twitter, that's at NCDOT. You can also follow us on Snapchat and Instagram at NCDOT.com. And from all of us at the North Carolina Department of Transportation, safe travels.